there, Clutch. Get him, get him. Oh, pick six. Hey, can I get four? Four. One team, one team. Good call, good call, kid. Okay, good call. Let's go. Well, I started it sophomore year, right? Yeah. yeah. We were part of the original squad. Mm -hmm. Me, you, Rick. Countries, show others. Uh, this is my first round pick six. Last year, at, um, they're all my friends, but I didn't play last year, unfortunately. It's my first year in pick six. Yeah, it's my first year in pick six, too. I've been part of pick six for what, three years now? Yeah. Started my freshman year, they made a team. We weren't that good back then. It kind of took like the whole squad to get together to finally start getting to this level we're at. My second year and uh, two-time champion is what we are. There's a lot of kids we played in high school, so we kind of knew each other, so it was, uh, that's how we got together. It's basically just friends. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's what separates us from other teams. We're, yeah. all, uh, we're all just boys. We have to have really athletic friends, so it all works out. It's all of our friends, and the most athletic tend to play a lot more. Uh, we don't really say you can't be on the team unless we kind of don't really know you. I think we just have fun. Like we don't get too serious about it. Sometimes when we get serious, it kind of backfires. But like during the playoffs and regionals, we kind of just had fun with it, just laughing out there. Like, that kind of helped a lot. We were talking teams on there. They're all at tryouts, and they only take the best players. For us, it's like we're all friends. Like we're, these are like my boys. We all we do everything together on the weekends. We we chill during the week. We go get food together. Just the whole chemistry part. And then on top of that, we're just all confident in our abilities. We're all competitors. We all want to win. Yeah, I mean, about it. <laughs> just had the had the competitive attitude my whole life. I mean, I feel like honestly, Rick inspires a competitive attitude out of everybody. To be honest, because he does. If he loses, then it's just a bad day for everyone. So he literally can't talk to him if he yeah. loses. <laughs> so like, he'll inspire us to like actually compete. But I mean, we're all just competitive people. Yeah, we all anyway. we all want to win anyway. So I mean, we're all and we're also all washed up athletes. We have nothing. Yeah, happen, exactly. Right? So this is our know, time to shine. Exactly. We did it so. The chemistry, chemistry. And, we, and the desire, we just want to win. We're hungry. The chemistry thing is huge, like you just said. But um, I'd say our attitude when we come into the games, too. We got a lot of people that are serious. We also got a lot of people that just want to have fun. Just us winning makes us so much better. And I just, we can laugh together, we can talk together, and we can just do whatever we want for a game. Going to Maryland was a great time. We went down, did a road trip down to Maryland. Uh, all the boys hanging out, playing football, and bringing home the championship. Honestly, when we were talking about Maryland two weeks ago, yeah, I, no. I didn't even think we were going to go, let alone yeah, compete. Think we really um, and then we got there, saw some of the teams, I was like, damn, so these teams are pretty good. And I mean, next thing I know, we're in the final game. The whole weekend was pretty exciting. Uh, just driving down, it was pretty boring. But when we got there, we saw everyone with their, all the gear and everything. It was kind of funny because we were just wearing t shirts. So definitely the regional tournament winning was. Uh, Sweet. Weekend was amazing. But everyone loved us. It's awesome. Then again, yeah, I know. We were one of the coolest people there. The whole road trip itself was probably like good team bonding. We we're all like really hyped to go down to Maryland. It was it was a whole lot of fun. Just wondering what it all was. It was a huge surprise to all of us. Definitely winning the championship was amazing. Just to see everybody's raw emotion and everybody just getting so excited just to win a game. It's just it was unreal. We just went in every game loose than every team or the team went exactly. We very just, serious. Yeah, we just had a fun time. Everyone's on the field Stay warming loose. up. All the other teams are like throwing routes and stuff. We're on the dan sideline dancing and showing <laughs> Joey and my owner just <laughs> <running>. <laughs> Porter, Porter's lying on the ground. Yeah. Porter's in our really tiny shoes first play of the game. Yeah. Like we had no idea we were gonna get that far. Like that was crazy. Like we pulled in that day and we're like, I don't think we're even gonna make it to playoffs. We dominated basically, it was kinda of crazy. Semi-final game of the tournament, we just played in Maryland. Yeah. Uh, we had a fourth down stand. The goal line. line. One by one point. Yeah, it was a pretty we, big. We held them, held, them, held them off on fourth down. It's huge. Pretty exciting. We had um, three members of the team won all tiny. Um, I was one of them. I also won MVP at the tournament. Yeah. yeah. Well deserved, well deserved, well deserved. <laughs> it was a little bit of celebrating. <laughs> and Friday night, we kind of. Got a little wild, went to the bar. some scrabble. Yeah. Oh, yeah, went to the bar. Yeah, a little bit. Guys give each other nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> My nickname is Countries. Okay. With a K. K U N T R I S. My name is Fung, I guess, but that's just my last name. So, <laughs> Mr. Mr. We're trying, we're trying to get Asian.
we, we ended up going with Mista Mista. So like, like Mr. Mr. Mista Mista Farm. So we went with Mr. Mister. So that's my nickname. My nickname is Embry. Last name's Embriaco. I was called Embry growing up, so I'm just stuck with that. Kevin, my name's Kevin, and my last name's Pongolo. So pretty much the same thing as Embry over here. <laughs> My nickname is Lil J and Lil Shark. Lil J, I don't know, they started calling me that sophomore year, it pissed me off because it's pretty ironic, you know? <laughs> my nickname was Shelly, just because my last name is Shell. Add a Y, makes it sound like, you know, like I'm a little kid, <laughs> basically. My nickname, I didn't really have one for a while, it was just a Jasheni in my jersey, but apparently it's Ace Jib now. Ace Jib! Ace Jib! Ace Jib! Uh, my nickname is Mudbone. Mudbone, Mudbone, Mudbone. Mud, 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 that's, that's EC Mudbone, not OG Mudbone. Okay, I got a fresh haircut and Rick's off my head. He just called me, started calling me the Land Shark. I don't know. Land Shark? You guys are gonna have to buy another I'm. Get out. Get in the shit. Hold up. Where are we going? Yo, Shelly. You got for the pick? <laughs> hey Shelly, don't you okay? Hey, you Blue you captain! Right Woo! Oh, baby! Let's uh, go! Cool. You guys better have to do it next year. Oh, oh, shit. 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 National well, champions. Well, I never thought I'd be a national well, champion. Well, I didn't even well, think well, a regional champion, and it's the first time I've been a regional. Yeah. How long have you been part of Pick 6? It's my first year. <laughs> Is it, dude? <laughs> <laughs> you can't explain it other way than that. <laughs> my first year part of Pick 6. Um, last year, I was... Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Practice in the beginning to get the plays down, get all, all positions down. And from here, just if you want to work out, work out. You gotta stay in shape somehow, so. Some of us do nothing, and <laughs> some of us do a little bit of something. He does a little bit of nothing. And he does nothing, even less. Yeah, I, think, I think the land shark cried, shed a couple tears, but besides that, it was, it was a lot of fun. It's just the land squid, he's a big squid. exclusive girl. Favorite memories, probably not even being in the games. It's definitely talking about all the dumb stuff that happens on the sidelines and all the stories that happen before and after the games. It's just definitely the best part about being on Pick 6 that it's a bunch of friends and not really just some athletes, you know.